Hi, thanks for visiting my video. My name is Andrew McLaren. I just want to take you through the short process as to how you actually go about signing up with Hub Pages. So if you come to hubpages.com, you'll see up here, just simply type in hubpages.com, and over in the right hand corner, you'll see a button called Join Now. So if you click on that button, you'll see that the process is fairly straightforward. There are five steps. I'm just quickly nip down them. So in the first step, you basically need to insert a name. So you can just pick a name, something like, for example, John Walters. And it will tell you, when you click outside, it will tell you whether your name's free or not. Sometimes you may need to add a number or something on the end of it. Now at this stage, you can sign up with Facebook. Personally, I prefer not to do that. I prefer just to sign up and get a separate account. All you do next then is fill in a valid email address. So if you notice over here it says this is the email address to which all your communication will be sent. So make sure you have a valid email address in there. Two little boxes here saying allow hub pages to contact you or send me the weekly newsletter. If you're going to be doing hub pages and, and I'm assuming if you have the course that's exactly what you're going to do, then it's definitely worthwhile. They do send you some very useful tips. In here you simply set a password and again tells you very clearly what to do. Unique and distinctive like all passwords and an alpha numeric combination of 10 to 12 characters in length. So a few letters, some numbers and a few uh, asterisks or something just to mix it up a bit. And then you repeat the password. The next thing you have to do is say you have to tick a box and say you have read and understand the hub pages terms of use. We'll come back to that in just a moment. And then they like to confirm that you're human by filling in this captcha. So you look at the number here, in this case 189, and just pop it in there. <coughs> and that's it done. You basically click the big green button at the bottom and you're signed up. So if you click Hub Pages Terms of Use, what they do is they give you a set of terms and conditions that you, <laughs> you can read through at your leisure. It's pretty long and pretty lengthy, but it's, it's worth scanning over just to, so that you know you've done it. So once you've done that, that's basically the process completed. So just in conclusion again, just very simple, put in a name or a pen name, pop in a valid email address, leave those two boxes ticked, stick in your password in here, check that you've read and understand the hub pages terms of use, and then just fill in the captcha and don't forget, most importantly, the big sign up button. What will happen then is you will get an email address or an email sorry, sent to your, your account. Uh, and in there it's a welcome email that talks you through the various bits and pieces about hub pages, but a fairly straightforward process. Thanks very much for watching. This has been Andrew McLaren.